welcome back to another week of Dust to Darts with me, Ed. And as you guys know, I'm working every single week to get from a mid-range handicap down as low as I can possibly get. Uh, every day, kind of working on my game. The original year of this, the first time I did it, I was a plus 20 handicap. A lot of balls, a lot of bounds, worked really hard on my game, worked really hard on my putting, got down to about a 12 to 14 range handicap. Still there right now, so this year the goal is to get out of the, the double digits and try to get down to 10 or lower on the index. So let's talk about where we left off last week, right guys? So I told you when I recorded last week's episode of Duffs and Arts that I was uh, recording it on a Monday and that I did my ball test. Uh, it wasn't a, wasn't a Titleist ball that I'm holding right now, but... Um, Oh, and I did my ball test, right? I couldn't tell you how I, how I played that day. It was the day after I had played 18 holes at Countryside. So this time, I was out at Boone Creek, which is, if you guys have been following Duffs and Arts for a long time, that is kind of like my home track. I've played there the most. There are three uh, nine-hole courses to choose from, so you can basically get in almost any time you want for at least nine holes, which is usually my go-to you know it's easy to get in you know nine holes at 6 a.m and be home before the family even really gets up for their day on the weekend 18 is a little bit tougher that's like an all-day event so i had taken off on monday last week well this week i had taken off on monday and i was doing the second part of my ball fitting with the pga tour superstore now with this situation I was lucky enough that the guy who fit me to my ball actually lives in the town right next door to me. So he's off on Mondays. We had talked about it. So he was able to join me out on the course. His name is Steve, uh, Steve Ford. So if you guys are in the Illinois area, if you guys go to the Vernon Hill store, he is the master fitter there. So go check him out. Tell him Eddie sent you. And he and I, and uh, his name is Mark, was his, uh, his store general manager. We went out to Boone Creek and we played and we did my ball test, and I still have to edit that video, but he was there basically playing golf and kind of telling me what to look for when he was seeing the ball flight, saying, hey, that looks good, that doesn't look as good, try this here, make sure you're taking your time here, and we went and we played. And so the first nine holes of the ball test, guys, I had I don't know what the score was because I didn't keep score. I, the whole goal of that first round, uh, first nine holes was to test out the three balls I had left, which was the old TP5, the Strixon Z-Star, and the new version of the TaylorMade TP5. So the first hole I played was with the old TP5. That's what I had played 18 holes with uh, the previous week, and I'd played nine holes with that already, so I kind of had a little bit of practice with that ball. Played the first hole with that. Next hole was a par three teed off uh, with all three balls on that hole and the second ball I hit bounced and bounced right towards the hole and started tracking in and I was terrified that it was going to go in the hole because it would not have counted as a hole in one. The last thing I want is my first ever hole in one to actually just be a par because technically it's the second shot so it's not really a hole in one. It didn't go in so luckily for me I didn't have to you know have that story to tell. Play that part, you know, part three with all three balls, put it from different eggs, and you know, you'll, you'll, there'll be a whole ball fitting video where you guys see how it goes. But on the back nine, I played with the ball that I basically, after my ball test, decided was the ball for me. And I played nine holes with that one ball. And well, it ended up being two balls because on the 8th hole slash 17th hole, I did chunk one and blade it like right over the green into the water. So I had to take a, take another ball, but um, played nine holes with that, guys. 13 total putts with that double on the 8th hole, and I had a plus four from the tips. So we're talking keeping the ball in play, putting it really well because I've been working a ton on my putting, and... Really just, you know, taking my time thinking out my shots when I have the camera on when I'm playing golf. It is a little bit of a distraction, but I'm taking you guys along for the ride. So hopefully it only gets me to be better. So that way when I play rounds without it, it's kind of like, hey, it's like working out. It's like running with a, with a weighted vest on. You take it off for game time and next thing you know, you're better. So there was that on Monday. 
Uh, during the week as well, I took that Nuraput, the outside version, the one that goes on a putting green. I took that to Pro Circle. So you guys know that's my spot. Went to Pro Circle on uh, Wednesday night, which is when my kids do uh, their activities. So I went there and there were no holes cut in the putting green yet. He doesn't have that, but the putting green was open for, you know, for practice. So I put the Neuroput down, put it down on the grass, and you know, here's here's a quick little little video snap of, of how the Neuroput test initial test went. Right here. Go go. So right here, early in the year, as you can tell, I've got a jacket on, it's cold, I've got a little beanie action here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a spot on the putting green here, set it down, get a feel of how kind of it's rolling out here in the cold, and then uh, we'll start to put some of the bump bumpers on there and see, you know, see how far we can go with making some putts from about six feet or so. Let's go. All right, so there you see, it was, um, you know, I hit the bumpers a ton, which is expected. Uh, there was like little like lit lip edges, like things that come, so here's the flat part, and there's a little piece that comes down. You push that into the grass so it doesn't move. There's no hole to lay it over, like I said, so I did have at least a target to work on. I did that for about 20 minutes or so. It was very cold. It was uncomfortable to be out there, but I did get a little bit of the putting done. Went inside, talked to, to Gary see how he's doing and you know let him know I'll be back soon so hopefully I can get out to a course or a putting green in the near future that has the holes cut so I can lay it over the putt and kind of practice that way but even if I if you don't the nerve putt is able to be laid down on you know regular grass anywhere you want to practice any putt you want in the bedroom at home uh, we started watching, re-watching that show You on Netflix. So if you guys have ever seen that show, it was fantastic. So I started watching You on Netflix again. We've already seen the first two seasons. We heard a rumor the third one's coming out, but that's just a rumor. That was BS. We don't know when it's coming out. But either way, started watching that. So while we're watching the show, I put the indoor version of the Neuroput down. The executive, I believe it's called, put that down on my carpet and was putting on that. I've also been putting it with it on my putting mat. So there are pros and cons with that that we'll, I'll get to when I do the full video review. Uh, but we're only going to focus on the pros right now, and that is that this thing, I do feel like it does work. It does focus your attention on a narrow or target when you're putting, and I have already started to see that I'm making more and more putts on it without it hitting the bumpers from about six, seven feet out is where I've been practicing. Sometimes coming a little bit closer, hit a little bit from further out, you know. Keep it interesting for myself. So instead of Netflix and chill, we had Netflix and putt. Always a good time. Uh, what else? Uh, okay, didn't get out at all this weekend. Didn't get out to actually play it all during the week. It thought I might be able to, but it doesn't look like that. That you know, It doesn't look like it didn't happen. It's Sunday night as I'm recording this. So I didn't get out to play it all this coming week. Uh, I suspect nine holes will happen. Whether it's during the week when it's a little bit colder or even Saturday or Sunday morning, I'll, I will squeeze in a quick nine holes. That's probably going to happen at Boone. Easiest place to get in, easiest place to get out of. I can walk nine holes and be home probably by 9 a.m. Still have the whole day to go. What else? Um, practice in the garage. So I've got a couple of videos that I shot today for you guys. Good practice drills uh, inside the uh, golf lab. And as you guys know, the golf lab is presented by Sharper Golf. They give me the tools to sharpen up my game. They'll give you guys the tools to sharpen up your game. So I went inside the golf lab and I was actually shooting them today. 
and I played a virtual simulated par four. Thought about each shot, did the math on how far I was going using the swing caddy and what the numbers were telling me on that. I did my putting ladder drill where I put the ball down on each dot on my sharper golf putting mat and I go all the way down the mat and all the way up the mat. And then I finish off with two putts from three feet out. So that way it gives me a total of 50 putts. And well, when that video comes out, you'll see how many I missed, but I'd say it was a good percentage. I did, did quite well with all the practice on that one. And lastly, I did a, because I just did the alignment stick drill this week and congratulations to Steven. On that, you won the alignment sticks. We've already got those set up to sent, be sent out to you. So everybody who entered that, thank you so much for you know for entering your name. I got more giveaways coming. I got more stuff I'm gonna give away. So since you guys are watching, since you guys are watching Duffs and Darts, I'm gonna say it right now. I've made the decision on the fly. Right, this is unplanned, unscripted. There's a brand new two pack of the sharper golf mini putting mirror that is now live on amazon the link will be below but it's now live on amazon but to test it out to make sure it's shipping correctly i wouldn't i i bought a set and had it sent to my house but i already got it i already have the set you guys don't all have the set so what do you say we'll do a little mini video keep an eye out It'll be on this channel. You just the first heads up for you guys. But I'm going to give away, it's a two-pack of the mini putting mirror. And I, right here, me, this guy, will mail it out to you guys. So if you're in the United States, this will go out to you. If you're not in the United States, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not paying that shipping because it's coming out of my pocket. But we're going to do that. We will announce that it's soon. I'm going to do a little giveaway. Another giveaway. More freebies. Just for you guys for your following the channel. So... If you have any friends or family members that you think might enjoy this content, make sure you let them know, tell them to follow because it's going to be on the YouTube channel and that's all I'm going to advertise it to. People just on this channel, only ones are going to know about it. Freebie stuff going. So, uh, anyways, I did the alignment stick drill. Uh, so, Steven, keep an eye out for that one. That's an easy drill. Learned it from actually a very, very well-known teacher named uh, Kevin Sprecher, who I know through Golficity. Well, not personally, but uh, it's a drill that he did, so I'm just kind of repeating his drill and to help anybody out to you know work on their rotation. It's all you need is two alignment sticks. Sharper Golf, we got the alignment sticks for you. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But I believe that's it, guys. That is it for this week of Dust to Darts. I believe I covered everything I worked on. Hit a lot of balls in the garage. They could, a lot of chipping, a lot of putting. Um, tons of putting. Tons, tons, tons. Tons of putting. My guy Tony, he saw that uh, the old uh, Tour Edge HP series is back in the bag. He, he called it Excalibur. I think I'm gonna stick with that name. I think I'm gonna start referring to that to that putter as Excalibur because it is undefeated on the greens when it's with me. The thing is, the thing is lights out. So that's it. That's all we're talking about. That's it for this week's of Duffs, Duffs to Darts. Well, you guys are working on your game as I'm working on my game. As always, you guys know that I'm not a professional player in any way. I don't even teach golf. I'm just trying to get better every single day in the time that I've got available. So you guys are doing the same thing on your own time. Well, you guys are improving as I'm improving. A little self-motivation. Let me know what you guys are thinking down below, what drills you're doing. Maybe I'll do them. Maybe we'll do them together. A little internet buddy system. Frenzies. I don't know. Make it up as we go. Till next time, guys. Keep grinding.